pleasure and honor to have you here with us. And now let's begin our questions. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, um, only one. My English is not the very best. Uh, if you told some question, please clear, simple, slow. <laughs> 大家好，我的英语其实不是那么好，所以说如果你们要用英语提问的话，请问的慢一点，简单一点，谢谢。Excuse me, excuse me。不好意思，希望大家理解。OK。Germany has many many advantages for the connecting between China and European Union and especially Chongqing and Duisburg. The railway between Chongqing and Duisburg is able to make the economical working together faster than over the ships over the ocean. And you know, today, the most important thing in the high quality industrial development is not the how much you have, so what is the quality and how fast you have it. And that's why I think it's one most important thing for the further and faster development of the industrial relationship between China and Germany especially. That's the will that the future of this railway will be grown up at first. Vielleicht gleich noch eine, das ist that's the special thing between Chongqing and Germany. But uh, on another level, on another level, we have now a special situation in the world in all for economic development worldwide. And it is the, the, the trade war of the United States against China, but also against the European Union. And it is really important for the further development of the world economy that the relationship between European Union on the, other, on, on the one hand and China on the other hand will be closer. We have to make a strategic, strategic, strategic partnership and be able to develop our economy and be not and the economic development is not the result of the political decision in USA. That's a global thing for European Union and China in this year. That we have to understand all. Okay. And we have two questions. The first one is, uh, the Belt and Road Initiative has brought about a huge opportunity to both China and Germany. And what do we, which area do you think that we could further develop, develop and cooperate, and how? And the second question is, as you said before, that there is a friction between China and the U.S. in the trading and economic area. And under such background, the German is very positive towards China. And how do you uh, feel that feel about this? What's your opinion about this? Mm, okay. <coughs> First question: um, Which part? can we, is in the center of our development in working together between China and Germany. I am from the eastern part of Germany, former GDR. And it's unfortunately to say the eastern part of Germany is not so developed 
in high quality industrial production like western part. But the positive situation is you, you are able to make more development in the eastern part of Germany. It's a similar situation like in China. The western part of China are not so rich development like the Chinese coast. And we have to understand that the Belt and Road Initiative is positive for both parts of our countries. They are today not so developed. We have to make more together in these parts. For example, I'm the vice president of the parliament in Sachsen-Anhalt. It's in eastern part of Germany. And we look for a partnership to a province in China. And the first, what I heard from the government is, let us make a partnership to Shenzhen or Peking, for example. So no, let us go with our partnership to the western part or not western part. That's why there are the more, we are think there are more possibilities to make together a development of these parts of our country are today not so developed. Yes. The second question is, mm. uh, there is a trade friction, trade war between China and US and uh, Germany is supporting China. Mm -hmm. And how do you uh, feel of, about this? Mm -hmm. About yes. the German support? Yes, yes. It was <clears throat> the Germany uh, point, the Germany point of the government, the government point is to make uh, a peaceful situation to China, but two to the United States. I'm a member of the left party. I think it's a really difficult situation. And we have to make a policy for Germany and the European Union to be not independent of the United States. I think we are only able to make a peaceful situation on the field of economic and trade between European Union and the United States is we, when we are not independent from the United States, when we are own able to make economic development. And that's why I think this is the same interest in European Union, in Germany, and China. And if we are able to make the things together there, I think it will be the situation for the United States to come back to the peaceful government and peaceful development of economic development in the world. Only one last point. For example, it was really good working together in the case of Iran. After the uh, political discussion, uh, decision in the United States against the Iran 